I'd like to welcome our guests, and I'm going to, I know that uh, Chief Chester Brooks. Here. Assistant Chief Bonnie Jo Griffith. Here. Secretary Annette Ketchum. Here. Treasurer Benita Shea. Here. Member Nikki Michael. She's absent today. Um, member Nathan Young. Here. Member Michelle Holly. Here. Okay, uh, there's a quorum. I know that we've got uh, several guests here. I know. Bonnie Thaxton would like to address the council something about that air condition problem. Bonnie, would you? I think we should have someone to be around where we could call. Bonnie, can you come to the mic? What? Can you come up to the microphone? Oh, I don't need that. Yes, you can. Come on. Can I? They can't hear you on the, on the I can't hear you. Can I get a microphone? On this? Dana can. Dana, will you take her the mic? What about this? Charles can. Dana. Then you can. I can't. Oh, you can. That's all right. Don't worry about it. Okay. There you go. I was just thinking Sunday. Anyway, my uh, air conditioning went out and I tried and tried to call different ones and couldn't get any answer. And I think we should have some person that we could call on and let them know what's going on at our apartments. And I just wondered if you could get someone to, you know, that we could call and tell what's going on at our place. By golly, I couldn't get anyone. I was really mad at the tribe. And I went ahead and I, uh, about 9.30, this young man came and he got up in the attic. And, and then when he got down, he showed me how it was leaking and said this pan was overflowing. I thought, well, there's nothing we can do about that. But anyway, finally, Mike came up there, Mike Marshall. 
show. And he got in the attic and kept it from leaking, but I had a whole closet full of wet carpet. So I just hope we can get someone that we can call on and get some help. Bonnie, how, uh, you, uh, you were actually without an air conditioner for two, two or three days in this heat? No, they went ahead and let, the, let it run, and I was afraid, you know, to turn it off. And then this young man, I asked him if we should turn it off, and he said, well, he thought we should. But it was leaking like the dickens till they didn't get it fixed. And that was about 11 o'clock at night. But what did, did, did they have air or something for you the next morning, though? <laughs> he was supposed to brought a band, but he didn't bring it to Wednesday. But I, I thought we got it fixed on Tuesday. He fixed it Sunday night, right? But it was uh, still wet in there and everything. He said he'd bring a fan on a Monday to dry the carpet out, right? But he didn't come to Wednesday, right? With the fan, yeah. And then Tuesday's when you told me, and that's when you said, "I want my house cool when we get back from Catoosa." That's right. And then dude called, and they got the air conditioner guy over there and got it fixed, and the leak stopped. I think yes. on Tuesday. Well, Bonnie, so you were you were without AC for three days, or no? no you had the AC. No, they went ahead and fixed it Sunday night, and uh, I didn't have to turn it off. But oh, okay. That didn't keep it from being wet. wet in there. Yeah, the ba a bad water problem and mold and. You, you were afraid to turn it back on for fear that it leaks more. Well, I didn't know what to do, and yeah. I told that. Young man. Okay. Well, was that young man with the uh, housing apartment? Yes, it was Mike Marshall. Oh, Mike, okay. Mm -hmm. So, are you going to try to get somebody or not? <laughs> yeah, I think they have an emergency number. We just need to check and, with housing and find out why it wasn't answered. They well, uh, actually, I don't think Bonnie had the emergency number, did you, Bonnie? No, I sure we, we need to make sure that the housing posts that emergency number in all Delaware houses. Are there other Tribal members that wish to speak at this time. If uh, if not, I'll caution everybody. We when when there's a motion on the floor, I am not going to recognize tribal members. I'll recognize any tribal member for two minutes at this time. Reading to the minutes. I'll make a motion we approve the minutes of the last meeting. I'll second. Have all council members reviewed the minutes? Do I hear any additions or corrections? If there are no additions or corrections, all in favor of the motion to approve the minutes, please say aye. 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 Opposed? I abstain. 
Well, let the record show that the vote on the minutes is five yes and one abstention. Unfinished business. Chief, I'd like to make a motion that we pay out of the 106 funding, the 421.47 for John Thomas's plane ticket on his last trip, and also that we do the same with the 1865 for his upcoming trip, and he is going to go seek matching funds from the Delaware Nation. And this would all come out of 106 funding. Do I hear a second? Second. Discussion. This is to pay for his first trip and this second trip. That 1865 comes out of 106 as well. Yes. Okay. Is there further discussion? How much was the thing taken on the first trip? 421.7. Nancy, I made it clear that we're not going to recognize the audience. I can still hold my hand up. Okay. Do I hear a perfect discussion? Talk question. Question called. Uh, all in favor of the motion to pay for the plane ticket. $1,865 against his little next trip. Out of Title 106, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? I abstain. How many ayes do we have? We had uh, four yes and two abstentions. I'm abstaining myself. Although I think it's uh, perfectly proper for us to assist Mr. Thomas in his endeavor in our home ones. I think it's. I think it is too. It's just the timing. I, I felt really strongly that, uh, in view that we're hiring a new uh, director for the uh, culture. There's not a motion on the floor. Well, I'm just going to talk. But you can. Why? Robert throws the award. Says I can't talk. Unless there's a motion on the floor. I make a motion I can talk, okay? What's your motion? Do I hear it say? I make a motion that I have further information I want to reveal about uh, John's trip. I'll second that motion. Discussion. Uh, okay, can I talk now? No, we haven't voted on it. Oh, well, why, don't, why don't we vote so I can talk? Is there further discussion on this motion and second? Uh, yeah, I'll discuss. I'll have some further discussion on the motion. The reason I want to make this motion is to inform everyone that uh, I, I, it's just, a, it's just me personally, but I'd like to go on record. I have every reason to believe that, that John uh, could do this trip. But we are hiring a man to, or a woman to come in as the director of our culture, and I feel like we should leave some things up to that person 
as to what he wants to do because we're spending tribes money to do things and yet we the a person that we're going to hire who's a professional may have a different way of doing things and since the timing is such that he's supposed to be hired or she is she, supposed to be hired this should have been covered and so, excuse me, I'm talking. I was talking, Nate. Uh, uh, actually. Uh, and, and that, I'm, uh, my point is, we ought to be very thoughtful when we spend the tribe's money for anything. It has nothing to do with John. It has nothing to do with uh, uh, whether he should rush up there. It has everything to do is deferring to the person that we're hiring who's a professional. Our tribe, if we don't get professional on everything we do, we're just going to keep sinking lower and lower. Why do we hire professionals if we don't let them do their job? Thank you. Now we can call for the question. Uh, I'd like to add to that discussion. Okay, thank you. Uh, when this started out, uh, Mr. Thomas came to me personally and ask if he could get some assistance in going to our homeland uh, to explore recovering our human remains and burial artifacts. It was taken to Culture Preservation Committee and our Elders Committee and Culture Preservation and Elders Committee both uh, were all in favor of it. They agreed to cover part of the cost It was also taken to a joint meeting with the Delawares of Western Oklahoma. And they agreed to, this was after John had made his first trip, they agreed that they would participate in helping to fund a return trip John was ready to leave on that trip a week ago. Until he received certain resistance of, I think yourself and Councilwoman Nikki Michael, that uh, John could surely wait until we had found the money somewhere else. Are you against John going, Councilwoman Ketchum? No, Chief. In fact, you made my point. I was in. I was in favor of him going in May. I wrote the letter and supported it 100%. In fact, I had to leave the hospital because my father-in-law was in the hospital. I went home and took care of that so he could leave in a timely manner the 1st of May. However, since that time, we found out we have a bulletins out to hire somebody to do this professional work. And I think if John's going to be in, if John of all people would like to be in the loop to do things in, a, in an orderly way, and, and he's not even here tonight. Um, John would, I, I mean, he's just as cooperative as he can be. He has the zeal, the heart for all of this, and I can, I was the first person to bring it out, and I know you supported it, because we, we and, but I wrote a letter in, in support. I put it in writing. I'm the only one that did that, and so you can't say I, I opposed anything, Chad. I'm not, I'm not saying that you are opposed. Well, you implied it, certainly. And so therefore, I just feel like, why not let this, why we bring a man in and then want to muzzle him to make decisions, or a woman, whoever it is, that we hire a professional to do this. And, and if anybody would like professional guidance, I'm sure John would like that. And I support our program, all of our cultural programs. It's just the, 
manner. We do everything in such a knee jerk position, a, a way. We just we just throw it out there. And I just I just tired of it. I I most definitely agree that we do things in a knee jerk way. And the only thing I can say is I still fully support John Thomas. And the only reason I abstained from the vote was because I was uh, being informed that I had to pay for his airplane ticket out of my budget. Out of your budget or out of your pocket? Out of my budget. Out of the tribe, not 106. Uh, there's also been money paid out of my pocket. And that's why I abstain on the vote. Well, I is there, any, is there any council member here that wishes to change their vote? That they don't want John Thomas to the, go on this trip. The only thing I have to say is when we, before we voted, all of this should have been said then, not after we voted. <clears throat> I totally agree. Uh, well, you know what? It doesn't have anything to do with, this doesn't have anything to do with John. It's just the way we spend money. I mean, if we want somebody to go someplace and the chief has to pay for it out of his pocket and then get reimbursed a month later or more, that's just not the way to do business. It's, it's just not the way to do business. And I think John would be the first one. In fact, John told me he was going to make the trip whether we paid for it or not. So That's what he told me, too. About exactly, the first, the first trip. I mean, and that kind of... That kind of uh, that was a, that's why the elders endorsed him. That's why the cultural preservation. They said, I haven't seen this kind of enthusiasm for our culture. Here's this man who wants to do this. And I felt the same way. But we got new information about hiring a director of our culture so we can do things in, in the way that person would see fit to do it. And I think we're belaboring it, Chief. Can we move on with the agenda, too? Sure. Treasurer report. Um, I would like to make a motion that we approve the treasurer's report pending audit. Second that. Yeah. Call for question. Question has been called on the treasurer report. Uh, all in favor of approval pending audit, please say aye. 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 to propose adding two new voluntary committee members to the editorial board. First is um, Anna Pate Machonic. I'd like to add her, Anna. Yeah. We'd like to add her um, expressly for our, to deal with our youth. Um, she came and said that she was interested in volunteering. And uh, my first thought was, wait a minute, how old is she? because she is young. However, I think that that's a great idea. It took me a few moments to process that. And I really think that um, she's in a great position to interview other youth, talk with other youth in our community, and get interviews from them and submit those for the DIN, which I would love to see, and a section that I think we can reach um, through her. So I would like to 
um, have her in as a, a junior, if you will, or an honorary, but expressly dealing with our Native youth is what it, the way that I would like Anna to serve. The secondary person would be um, Leslie Falleaf. She also asked to serve on the DIN and expressed that she would like to help with editing. Um, Leslie does have a master's degree. She's well written. She has some access to some numbers and that kind of thing from working in the tribal department or the enrollment department. Um, so I think for editing purposes and just as a resource for going to to get some, some number information um, and where our members are coming from and that kind of thing I think would be beneficial. So those are the two names that I'm proposing to the council tonight. Okay, the only, I, I would like you all to try to work on your, the policy that we had presented. I know you said you had probably some changes to make and probably some of these need to, like the, the youth part needs to be written in there. Sure. And, and brought yeah. back. Yeah, and the guidelines that um, we're working under now, they were approved by Tribal Council on 419. Right. So I think it's fair to to say at least 90 days from when that policy was approved by the council to give me to work what right. needs to go in those guidelines. Absolutely. I knew that there would be different things that came up as we went through our process of working with everyone to get the DIN completed, um, to know what kind of things we wanted to add in there, what would be pertinent information to go in. So um, 90 days would mean I would have to submit new guidelines to you all for approval by July 19th. So if you'll approve that, I will move on that deadline. I make a motion that we allow uh, Leslie Jertens uh, to uh, have 90 days to, uh, re to uh, update the policy. And also, I, uh, I, I don't know if we need a motion. Do we need a motion to accept the two members? Yes. Uh, it's in the policy uh, now. I, I make a motion that we accept uh, Ms. Uh, Anna Piccioni and Ms. Leslie Fawley as new members with uh, Anna being a uh, junior editor and uh, Leslie a colleague uh, uh, who's qualified to be an editor for the paper to be as well seated on that committee. I'll second that motion. Motion been made and seconded to accept the appointments of presented by Leslie. Is there any discussion? Call for questions. Questions called. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? <clears throat> Next item is uh, actually a misnomer. It says uh, approval of an amended housing EAO. Policy. Uh, that policy is not complete yet, to my understanding. Right. It, it wasn't really, I, from what I understand, um, CeCe's been working on just incorporating the, the resolutions that we previously passed into this, but it wasn't complete in what we received. So it really shouldn't have been under new business. It actually should have been under reports. And, but I think we just need to skip over it. And when she gets it proofed, and I, I think one section got omitted when she was working on it. So um, I, I think it'll just need to be submitted again under reports from the way I understand. Do we have a timeline for the resubmission? No, but we might want to give we might want to think about that until long. We would like it. Yeah. In 30 days. So I will make a motion that we ask housing to complete that revised policy. It doesn't have to be approved. It just, I mean, because everything in it's been approved. It's just incorporating our resolutions into the old policy and have it back to us in 30 days from today. Second that motion. 
motion has been made to require her policy for approval within 30 days. Is that correct? Well, no. I had a uh, clarification on a minute uh, to get the uh, policies and the new policy incorporated within 30 days. Is yes. That, yeah. yeah. Is there any discussion on the motion? I have one thing I'd like to say. Uh, since I have to go back a whole year to think it's been a year in this process of getting this uh, policy changed and the issues at the time when we were changing them was there was no reason to change them in the first place or very little reason to change them in the first place. And I think it has put uh, obviously a strain on the housing authority to have to wait a, the whole year. They're having a hard time making it, uh, putting the old policy and the new policies we made incorporate them together and have them meet the standards. Apparently, what's wrong? After, a, I mean, it takes that long? It could have been over a year. Actually, I, I can't recall that when we... I remember it, though. It was April of last year when all this began. Oh, so it is over a year. Yes. That certainly wasn't a knee jerk. <laughs> the question has been called of the, uh, to require this policy within the next 30 days. And I think we can hurry and put it. Just let it be updated. That be it's nothing we have to vote on. Just policy needs updated. Okay. All in favor of the motion, please say aye. 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 Could the uh, all right, opposed? Aye. Aye. Let the record show that uh, the updated policies must be presented in, within 30 days by a vote of four yes and two no, or two, two abstentions. No, they said no. No, okay, no. Could the secretary please read resolution? 2016, there was no. Yes, sir. I can't. It's just a find it. Does somebody have a clue? It's second to the last page. Oh, very right back. A resolution of the Tribal Council of the Delaware Tribe of Indians to adopt the guidelines of the Economic Development Committee, Resolution 2016-35. Whereas the Delaware Tribal Council of the Delaware Tribe of Indians on May 3, 2016, created the Economic Development Committee, EDC, and whereas the criteria for selection for the EDC was based on the priorities as stated by each council member at the strategic planning meeting conducted by Jim Gray, and whereas the members of the EDC were selected by uh, to be Chet Brooks, Bonnie Jo Griffith, Benita Shea, and Nate Young, and whereas the term of this committee and the attached guidelines will end 30 days after the DEDC board is was established by resolution, uh, as established by resolution 2016-6, is established by the majority of the Delaware Tribal Council, at which time the chief of the Delaware Tribe of Indians becomes the Tribal Council liaison. Uh, to the DEDC board and whereas the guidelines for adoption are attached and dated uh, as attachment A to this resolution. And now therefore be it resolved the Delaware Tribal Council of the Delaware Tribe of Indians does hereby authorize and approve the guidelines 
of the Economic Development Committee of the Delaware Tribal Council of the Delaware Tribe of Indians. I will make that motion. Second the motion. <laughs> Motion been made and seconded. Is there any discussion? Yes, actually, there is discussion on this. I'm just seeking clarification. So it states uh, term of the committee, the attached guidelines will end 30 days after the DEDC board is established by majority of the Delaware Tribal Council. What is the guidelines or the time frame that we're looking at for the DEDC to be established? Or it has been established, I'm sorry, for Don't there worry. to be board members brought forth to this council for consideration of, of appointment. I've actually had uh, one council member suggest a board member, uh, Benita Shea. Do any other board members have suggestions? Yeah. Or do any other council members have suggestions? Yeah, I had given you mine previously also, Chief. I think we should, uh, if it's going to be recognized, I think we should develop a process or procedure uh, before we make or, or after you make nominations to the board, before we confirm. Of like their bio, bio, bio resume or what? Yeah, a little yeah. due diligence. Yeah. That still doesn't answer my question that I asked. What is the time frame that we are looking at that that would be completed? Right now, there's there's no time. It could be from now until infinity. It could be now until next meeting. Now until whenever. What is the what is the time frame we're putting on this? I'm. Um, I'm uh, pretty sure that we could probably have three appointments within 30 days. And I'll assure everybody here, I'm not going to bring forth the name of Bill Hatch or Pete Dennis. Very good, because yes, there's a very lengthy okay. document here that uh, pertains to one particular Bill Hatch and a number of the people that you mentioned. Can we, not interrupt me. Can we vote on this, Chief? <coughs> I'm still speaking. That has nothing to do with this motion. I'm still speaking. Well, there is a point of order to be made. And you're going she to shut is, me down every time that I'm attempting if to. If we're going to comply by the rules. That's why I'm still asking a question on the time frame in which this DEDC board is going to be, that there are going to be members placed on this board. 30 days. And I've already said 30 days, Michelle. So this has been, so we're going to put together guidelines and appointments to bring within 30 days to this council. That's all going to be completed within 30 days. I would most definitely say that. So are we going to approve the guidelines before or after we make the appointments? Y'all take your choice. You have to confirm You're going to have the guidelines. The guidelines. That's my point. That's what I'm trying to make here. That's why I'm trying to seek one of you to answer that question and not put the cart before the horse as it's normally done. Well, Michelle, I think that in answer to your question is that uh, there is no need to have a committee put in place when we're going to, in 30 days, we're going to have guidelines and suggestions and bios of members that we're going to place, that this is, uh, this is, doesn't have any, any relevance. Absolutely. I would completely I would agree disagree. with that. I disagree. Uh, well, that, you may agree with that. However, the committee has already been put in place. The members have not. No, they yes. haven't voted on it. Yes, we, we the members have. have. We are in place. I'm, I'm not talking about the DEDC, I'm talking about the committee that this resolution is about. The, it says the members were selected to be. We haven't selected you guys to be. Yes, we did. Yes, it's we did. We had a regular scheduled meeting, May 3rd. And that, that was the meeting whenever it was just the four of them here, oh. the one that the three of us were on. Oh. Oh. Point of order, okay. you are not to impugn the integrity the, or the motives of other board members. I did not imply anything or impugn. I simply stated for clarification oh. which meeting it was. 
and we, that's been discussed. So you guys voted for yourselves to be the member of the EDC when there was the four of you voted for the four of you. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, I guess so. No, I'm not telling you anything. That's, that's, sure no, that's what, that's what, that's, I see, that, that's right, I was gone on the third. And, and so was Michelle and so was Nikki. So the, <laughs> we can't conduct sense. business just because people aren't here. Oh, no, that would be very convenient since you knew that um, I was going to be gone. A point of order, a point, a point of order has been raised and I wasn't sustained. Well, well, okay, are you saying on the third that your names were on that economic development, I mean, on the resolution, the four of your names were on that, that you set up the committee? Yes. And so what is this tonight, then? You're doing it again? The I guidelines. Think? What? The guidelines. This is the guidelines. It says so in that title. Adopt the guidelines. Which are attached. For the committee. Yes. Call for question. Question been called. All in favor of the motion, raise your right hand. And say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Aye. Let the record show that the guidelines for the economic development committee are approved by a vote of four yes to no. The same four. And that let the minute show that at least three board members for <laughs> Delaware Economic Development Authority will be nominated by the chief and this council will have the authority to affirm them or not affirm them within 30 days. And there's only going to be three members on that uh, on the final board, is that what you're saying? That that's what the uh, the new charter that we passed uh, probably four months ago. I didn't think we ever passed one. Yeah. They were they were amendments to uh, the DEA charter. It, <laughs> well, and that was and never done in completeness. I just want to go on record stating, um, addressing the tribal members that I hope that each one of you are paying attention, especially to what took place tonight. Thank you. I make a motion. I'll make a motion. We adjourn. Uh -uh. No. Uh, Nancy and Anthem, I have clearly informed everybody out there in the audience that you will not be. I don't want to discuss that. I just want to make a statement. You're welcome to make a statement. But the motion has been made to adjourn. Do I hear a second? I'll second it. All in favor of adjournment, say aye. 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 I oppose. I oppose as well. Now then, can I make a statement while you're all...